you have cancer. It's a terrifying diagnosis that can turn your world inside out and weaken your resolve to attack your enemy head on. We saw Dean Brown reveal her cancer diagnosis for the first time on MTV's Real World Road Rules Challenge Fresh Meat. Take a look at what was happening behind the scenes. I started having strong amounts of pain in my stomach and they raced to the hospital and the doctor was like, we need to operate right now. And when I awake from surgery, they're like, well, we took out the ovary and we took out some lymph nodes, we took out your appendix. It's about five days after surgery. I remember getting the phone call. My doctor's like, DM, I have to tell you something and it's, you're, you're gonna, it's gonna scare you. You have extreme aggressive cells of ovarian cancer and it had spread. That shocked me, the word cancer. But the second part is when I really became numb. And he's like, and we need to talk about doing chemo immediately. It was terrifying. I was looking in the mirror going, wow, I guess I am sick. I'm losing weight, I'm losing my hair. I'm you know, feeling the physical side effects. I'm seeing these lesions on my body. I'm like, I'm really sick. I viewed myself as this healthy, athletic girl. And I look in the mirror and I'm seeing this skeleton person that looks like they're dying. And that was the moment I was like, whoa, I'm actually sick. Once I realized I was sick, I was like, all right, I wanna beat this thing and I never wanna see it again. And I remember being done with chemo and my doctor was like, all right, you're cancer free. You're in remission. Before my sixth year remission, I started feeling pains again. And I go in to my doctor and I do the internal ultrasound. Doctor comes in and he's looking at the image and he goes, you have a cyst a 10 inch cyst again on your other ovary. You have two options. You either can go in and just take the cyst out and take half the ovary that it's on, or we take the whole ovary out. And I'm like, well, just take the cyst out. Like, I don't want the whole ovary out, are you kidding me? He's like, the problem is, even though I think it's borderline cancer or just pre-cancer cells, if it's not and we take the cyst out, it's going to leak and it's going to spread. I'm like, well, let's be positive that it's not cancer, so just take out the thing you gotta take out, and I'll do fertility treatments and whatever, I'll get eggs that way. They remove the cyst. It's been six days, and all of a sudden I get a phone call from my doctor. Picking up the phone call, my doctor sounded upset. You have ovarian cancer again, and you need to get that last part of your ovary out. DM joins us today, and I, I, I am, I'm looking at you, a beautiful young woman. You look like the picture of health, and I'm just trying to imagine what it's like for you to hear the diagnosis of ovarian cancer for the second time. You absolutely become in shock. It takes a while to kind of soak everything in and, and realize that you have to go back to the same journey you've already been on. The first time I went through cancer, there was a point where I didn't want to do chemo. I'm like, what other treatments can you do rather than chemo? And they're like, no, you got to do chemo. And I wanted to not really go there all the way. Mm -hmm. This time I was like, all right, you know, let's get it, let's hit it. Let's, let's get the, the thing out once and for all. Let's right. get the cancer out. I don't want to ever hear the word again. I don't want to even think about it. it. The strength comes from you don't want to be a victim of your disease. You mm -hmm. want to be the champion of it. And I realized that, you know, if I'm gonna beat this again, I need to be the champion rather than the victim. And you certainly are. You certainly <laughs> are fighting this. And I have to ask you because, first of all, how is your health right now? Um, I'm still in treatment. I mean, this is a very lovely wig, but it is a wig. <laughs> um, but I'm still in treatment and, you know, I find out at the end of this month you know, how everything's progressing. And I'm really excited because I really want to be off this ride, <laughs> exceptionally much so. And I don't want to ever hear the word again, ovarian cancer, in my health chart. Like, I want to be more of an advocate for patients. And that's why this time around, I feel completely different than the first time around. The first time around, I hid. I hid like no other. And this time around, I feel like I'm stepping out and I'm okay about being the cancer girl on MTV. The first time I'd heard that, I'm like, no. My name is Diem, it's not Cancer Girl. <laughs> this time I'm like, yes, I'm the Cancer Girl, bring it on.